It's a new, new day for Bell's Mafia. We're here in the Florida Keys. We got the sunrise coming up. We're gonna watch that. We got the moon right behind me here too. Uh, unbelievable stuff, but we gotta discuss it. It's a new day for Bill's Mafia 2023. Baby, right when we thought the end of 2022, all hope is lost. Buffalo Bills come back, have an awesome, awesome free agency. It's a new day. It's a new day. We're gonna, we're gonna talk about it in this video. We got a lot to discuss. Let me stop one wheeling really quick. It's been a heck of a trip. So far, this is gonna be the last video in the Florida Keys. Um, unbelievable serenery down here. That's my one wheel, you can see. There's a moon behind me, where's it at? Thought I saw it before. Oh, it keeps going away, I mean. <laughs> but here comes the sunrise. Let's go check it out. Let's see, look at that, look at that. But the DNA, guys, the DNA of the Buffalo Bills here is that we have grit. We got a lot of guys with a lot of physicality and a lot of grit, especially on that offensive side of the football. We've been hammering this home. Josh Allen was way too beat up at the end of the season last year. I really believe this makes all the sense in the world. Bring in some physical skill set type players that we don't necessarily have to rely on. Josh Allen diving, jumping. You know, coming out of the season banged and bruised, as entertaining as it is, the longevity of Josh Allen, man. I want Josh Allen around as long as Tom Brady, right? And I want him dressed as a Buffalo Bill. And it's so hard to see him do those things and sacrifice those things, especially during the season. You know, playoffs when the game is on the line, right? Super Bowl. I, I get it. I get it, right? But we need players to, to lift some of that burden off Josh Allen, to get rid of some of the bangs and bruises from Josh Allen. And you think about all the injuries that occurred last year for the Buffalo Bills. You know, we've been speaking about it. Gabe Davis with that high ankle sprain, right? And early in the season, really set him behind um, so many other guys. Spencer Brown also going down having off-season back surgery going down during the season week seven against the Kansas City Chiefs in a walking boot. Josh Allen's injury, don't forget, his throwing arm was injured in 2022. I mean, we saw him make bad throws, errant throws, especially immediately after that game where he got hurt, right? It took him a little bit to get accustomed to throwing with a hurt arm and a hurt elbow. There are so many things that riddle the Buffalo Bills 2022 season, and it is a new day to look forward to here in 2023. Damian Harris is an awesome, awesome addition. Honestly, he could very well be the best back that we've had here, since going back to LaShawn McCoy. And we saw what LaShawn McCoy did here with Sean McDermott, right? We did not have the greatest offensive line. We definitely had offensive line issues. We didn't have the high potent passing attack of Josh Allen. When you can pass it that well, you know, it opens up the run game. So I really think this is gonna be an awesome thing to watch. Damian Harris rushed for 15 touchdowns in 2021. You know, we wanted Jamal Williams, 17 rushing touchdowns. And guys, this just makes so much sense. The physicality and everything he brings. It's just a new day. It's a new day here. It's unbelievable. There's the moon. We can finally see it. It was behind a cloud. But yeah, I, I really am loving this offense. Trent Sherfield lining up in the slot. Those crack back blocks and blocking out of the slot. And how I know the Buffalo Bills want to do that is looking at Khalil Shakir's game film review study that I put together even and looking at all and each and every single snap that Khalil Shakir had in 2022. And a majority of those snaps, he was in the slot and the majority of those snaps were actually running plays and they forced him to block and crack back block. And he did an excellent job and he was very committed to it. But I think he just lacked a little bit of size, a little bit of overall strength, that NFL strength. Maybe with the full offseason, he's going to bulk up a little bit. It's going to be really interesting to see. Khalil Shakir in year two, working with Eric Moles in this offseason too. It's going to be absolutely, absolutely dynamite to watch. And then you got Deontay Hardy, right? We lose Isaiah McKenzie. 
very tough. Isaiah McKenzie has to leave. He's been here for the Buffalo Bills for a very, very long time, but his yards after catch ability was just not enough for Bills Mafia. His route tree really was a hard success rate, right? It's very tough to be successful as an Isaiah McKenzie. Um, he showed flashes, and he's still a great player. He's still a great player, but very, very tough, you know, and to pay him, and it's really amazing what Brandon Bean did. I mean, you go into this offseason with that much uh, negative cap space, right? We correct the cap space, and then we bring in all of these players, and most recently, we just signed Jordan Phillips. Jordan Phillips is back with the Buffalo Bills, and this is an absolutely huge. Pairing him next to Ed Oliver, getting Von Miller back, right? Tim Settle, Daquan Jones, both getting hurt. Free agents for the Bills, both getting hurt. Very, very special to see what could occur here between Ed Oliver, Jordan Phillips, again, another season together, a healthy Von Miller, Greg Russo continuing to produce. You got Boogie Basham, right? AJ Epinesa. We need these young guys to step up. And I did talk about it in my previous video. Like, you gotta think, okay? We have all these players that we've brought in, even a safety, right? Um, br bringing in a safety, looking for answers across this team. And Brandon Bean, he did an excellent job filling each and every single hole on this team heading into the NFL draft. And that's what's so sweet is because now we can go into this NFL draft and we can select best player available at each and every single position. So understanding that, we have to understand like what is best player available actually mean? And it really boils down to that player's value at that given time that you draft. So best player available at that time for the Buffalo Bills, you know, clearly if it's a quarterback, we're not gonna draft a quarterback, right? Um, it just doesn't make sense for the, for the Bills to do that because we have Josh Allen. There are external things you have to keep in mind with this. I've been discussing it, okay? Last year, uh, Quentin Morris, backup tight end. What was his offensive snap count? 25%. Bobby Hart, third string tackle on the Buffalo Bills. What was his snap count? 11.5%. So to me, a third of the time, okay, more than a third of the time, the Buffalo Bills had either Quentin Morris or Bobby Hart on the football field offensively for the Buffalo Bills. And I really think the Bills should be eyeing up either a tackle, tight end, something like that, something like that. We definitely gonna be eyeing that up and maybe we consolidate things and just draft one guy that can do both. But I hope you guys truly enjoyed this series of the Florida Keys. Uh, definitely miss Buffalo, but gonna definitely miss this place. Appreciate every single one of you guys. Hit like, subscribe. I'm trying to keep this channel alive. Go Bills. Peace.